Oh, hi! Here I was getting ready to show you how to make bias tape and uh, I just, I can't, I can't do it right now. I just, my brain won't. The beginning of this week was great. This, this part of the week is not great. So when I went on my very traumatic grocery run yesterday, uh, I did treat myself to some instant coffee packets so I can make this fucking coffee fluff shit. We're gonna see how it goes. Francesca has been posting it a bunch and I finally caved after seeing one of her posts when I knew I was going to the grocery store and was like, fuck it, we're gonna do the damn thing. I don't care how bandwagony it is. Uh, I wanna see if it works and how it comes out because I fucking love coffee and I just want a nice treat, god damn it. I have my regular ass black coffee to set aside, a glass with some milk in it. I don't think the milk part matters. I do genuinely think I'm gonna try to put some in my coffee. Here's the thing though, I drink my coffee black and I don't even really enjoy when it has milk in it. I will still drink it if like someone makes it ahead of time and puts milk in and like, I don't know. I'm not gonna let it go to waste, but I prefer just plain ass black coffee. So this Delgana coffee shit seems like the most extreme. I have also already measured out two tablespoons of white sugar. I have my instant coffee packets. I don't know how many tablespoons are in like each little packet. I should have just gotten a tin, huh? Well, let's see, this doesn't actually seem like that much. And I have never used instant coffee before. <gasps> Look at it, it's weird. It's like pelletized. <gasps> interesting. So that's not quite a tablespoon. All right, so I guess I'm doing three of these little packets. I definitely should have just gotten a tin. No wonder this was only a dollar. And it also said to use two tablespoons of hot water. I don't think the actual number matters. You can make a way bigger batch than this, but you just need equal parts of water, white sugar, and instant coffee. Why I counted this way, I don't know, but nothing makes sense anymore. So let's just run with it. Here's our coffee and sugar. Oh, that smells so good. All right, here's our starter sludge. God, this looks very unappetizing. Hi, Bert. <laughs> all right, and I also grabbed the electric mixer because my shoulder was already fucked from all the face masks I have been making. I'm not gonna sit and whisk this shit for an hour. This is a self-care treat. We're not gonna break our body in the process. <laughs> Tuck you guys into my lap and see how this goes. I'm so intrigued by this. I want you to be able to see Bert's face during this whole process. <laughs> Neat. Okay, something's already starting to happen. We are a long way off though. This is fucking wild. I am already tired of moving this, so how anyone is doing this with a hand whisk, I don't know. But uh, this this is fun, other than the tediousness. All right, we get some peaks starting, but I would not call these stiff peaks yet. But I think I think we're almost there. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, you know, I think we're gonna call it there. First taste test will be doing the thing I got scolded for doing all the time. Let's put it in some milk. <laughs> so like, it's not bad on its own. Like tastes too acidic. Yeah, like the black coffee I drink, it doesn't have that kind of sharpness to it. Like it's bitter, but it, I don't know. Yeah, this is interesting. Cause it looks like it should taste like coffee ice cream, but I'm sure that's where the milk comes in. So let me put these in the sink, put the mixer away and then, uh, yeah, let's try that. All right, let's get you moved over so you can actually see what's happening since this is a two part process. I almost started scooping the milk into the bowl. That is not how this is supposed to work. Oh, it's so fluffy. Uh, yeah, I think I undermixed it a bit, but that's okay. Ooh, I know all the pictures of this I've seen. It's floated on top, but I guess I was expecting because it's not as fluffy as it's probably supposed to be. I thought it would sink. I don't often do anything fancy with coffee stuff. And actually my partner is usually the one to make it in the morning. So I, I just pour it out of the pot. Yeah, there's like a very intense sharpness from the instant coffee. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just mix this all in. Oh, oh, it looks like coffee ice cream. I have to say, I was very much a mint chip person when I was a kid and I still love mint anything, really. Mint, lemon, and coffee, I think are like my three favorite flavors. But coffee ice cream, became a quick favorite. Uh, do you hear it like thunking louder because the milk is so thick now? This looks heavenly. Okay, let's take a sip. 
oh my god it tastes like melted coffee ice cream so this has a uh, one percent like regular dairy milk in it which i almost never ever drink anymore i used to go through like a gallon a day me, me and my sister would drink so much milk when we were kids I can't stop drinking it. <laughs> I have to keep in mind there are three packets of instant coffee in here. But yeah, I don't need milk in many things, but if I do, I usually use like an unsweetened vanilla nut milk of some kind. And I bet that like little extra hint of something else would be really good in this. Oh, holy shit. This genuinely feels like such a nice treat. And yeah, I know there's two tablespoons of sugar in here, which feels like so much. Hey y'all, remember, and maybe this is just my household, but like we'd put spoonfuls of sugar on our cereal, which was already, well, I guess we mostly had like corn flake, like plain corn flake cereal, but there were definitely some already sweetened cereals that we would add sugar to. Is that a thing anybody else did? Cause I can't fathom doing that now. No wonder my teeth are so bad. I do think next time I make this, cause I'm absolutely making this again, I'm gonna mix it for a little bit long. Already feel the sugar hitting and uh, I, I don't need to add this into my daily routine on top of all of the other crazy things happening in my brain and the rest of this meat sack um, is a shit show in here. Oh, oh. Fuck. Cool. I'm even bad at drinking. Oh, what a nice treat. Thank you, Francesca, for uh, baiting me into making this. It, uh, I, I, do, I genuinely feel pretty indulgent and like feel like I'm in a better mood now. Could just be the sugar talking, but yeah, this, this was nice. I'm mostly just impressed I f didn't find a way to fuck the entire thing up and that it went well. I feel like I'm having a hard time processing it because many of the times I have delved into kitchen things, it has not gone so well for me. <laughs> but you know what? I'm, uh, I'm just gonna ride this high, quite literally. Sugar high happening. Oh, I watched Empire Records yesterday. And what, what a dream of a movie. I mean, it's kind of a nightmare and there's some not great things. Like it, there are some things that are kind of dated in there. I just love the movie so much. And that Coyote Shiver song that Renee Zellweger sings on is one of my favorite movie moments of all time. As far as incorporating music in, it's just, it's such a good moment, such a good song. Yeah, I'm going to pace myself drinking the rest of this. My God, I can feel so much happening already. <laughs> and, uh, at least it will give me extra fuel to get a bunch more face masks made. And hey, how about another live stream sometime tomorrow? I don't know a specific time. I've been doing them sometime mid to late morning. We're just keeping it real chill. They've been going for a couple hours at a time. So th there's a big window to like pop in and out of if you're around. No pressure to hang out though. I'll leave them up after they're done so you can catch up after. If you have any like questions or anything and you don't think you'll make it, feel free to leave a comment below and then I can address that in the live stream tomorrow. It's it's just really nice hanging out with everyone and having kind of like a weekly chill time. It's, it's really, really nice. It's been helping me keep my sanity a little more than I think I would otherwise. So thank you to everyone that's been coming to them. And I don't want to say every Saturday until this is over because scheduling things out just seems like a buck wild thing to do at this point in time because who knows what's gonna happen week to week. If you're a coffee person and you have the ability to make this for yourself, I recommend giving it a try. I know it's like a very big trend thing to be doing right now, but damn, it's delicious and took little supply and not as much time as I was expecting. It was just a couple minutes with the electric mixer. I'm sure it would be a lot more daunting of a task to just do with a regular whisk, so I don't have that in me, but if you get to work out some aggression, maybe that's a good task to give yourself. Alternate arms each day so you can get real coffee swole. Oh, I wanna, I wanna drink more of it, but I need, I need to take a break from it for a little bit. <laughs> okay, yes, let's hang out for a live stream sometime tomorrow morning. I'm on the East Coast, so let that be relevant to you in whatever way it needs to be. I am getting worse at words, so I'm gonna stop here. If I don't see you at the live stream tomorrow, I will see you back here next Friday with another video. Thank you so much for hanging out. You guys absolutely mean the world to me, and uh, yeah, please be safe, be well. I'll talk to you soon. Oh God, excuse me. I don't know why I just excused myself to an empty room. I could be cutting this part out, but no, I'm gonna stick it at the end because I'm a classy ass lady. <laughs>